Emma Colonel Ispuro had a charming life in New York, enjoying the advantages of her wedding to drug kingpin Joaquin Guzman Loera, aka El Chapo. Then she was held up and thrown in a Virginia jail. So what happened to the queen of the drug cartel world? How did she land in jail? Today we are going deep into the life of Emma Colonel. Emma Colonel was a beauty queen who participated in many beauty pageants. She dreamt of a glamorous life from her childhood. If she didn't get married to El Chapo, she must have been able to achieve her goal. But what's so suspicious is how did the notorious drug lord, El Chapo, became so interested in her? Was it her charm or some family history? Well, you will be surprised to find that Colonel is not only known for her beauty, but she also played a key role in transporting narcotics from a little age. For a time, Colonel's father, Inez Colonel Barreras, allegedly moved the Sinaloa cartel's marijuana across the boundary into Arizona. So, Emma Colonel has been enmeshed in the cartel world all her life, having grown up with father and her brother, who were both drug traffickers. And back in 2013, he was captured with one of his sons and other men in a warehouse with guns and hundreds of pounds of marijuana across the border from Douglas, Arizona. So you can say that she has a close relationship with narcotics, and anything related to narcotics captures the drug lord's sight. Emma Colonel was born in San Francisco, but she grew up in the mountains of Durango, bordering Guzman's Sinaloa state in an impoverished region, which is known as the Golden Triangle. Her first meeting with El Chapo was quite dramatic. She had a party to announce her candidacy for a beauty pageant when suddenly armed men on bikes arrived and the hero, her future husband, came. And they got engaged in a very short time. When someone asked Emma how she fell in love with a man who was nearly 30 years older than her, she said how he talked and treated her was enough to make her say yes to his proposal. She and El Chapo married back in 2007 when she was only 18 years old. He was 50 and one of the world's most powerful mafia lords. For years, it was noticed that Emma Colonel's only public image was a photograph from 2007, when she was crowned the beauty queen of the festival in Canelas, the town where she grew up. She was wearing a huge crown and a closed mouth smile and looking directly at the camera. After their wedding, she totally disappeared from public view until it was reported in 2011 that she had given birth to their twin daughters in Los Angeles. Then on February 22nd, 2014, she was with El Chapo and their daughters in the Pacific resort town of Mazatlan when he was caught by Mexican Marines. Despite her status as the wife of the world's most notorious drug boss, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, Emma Colonel Ispuro, lived mostly in ambiguity until her husband went to prison for life. Then suddenly, she was a presence on social media. There was a chat about launching a fashion line, even an appearance on a reality show which was dutiful to the families of drug traffickers. So it's true that Colonel's fame went like a shot during Guzman's 2019 trial in New York, where she became a media sensation with her designer outfits and the loyalty she demonstrated to her husband even as prosecutors documented how he kept a string of lovers, piggybacking on her husband's stardom and seeking to cash in on her fame outside Mexico. Emma also launched a clothing brand in the United States back in 2019, she even appeared in a US reality show about mafia families. However, in all the media interviews, you will find that one thing was always common. Colonel emphasized her enduring loyalty to her husband, Guzman, and her priority on bringing up their twin daughters. The drug lord's wife, Ice Puro, lived in amenities while attending her husband's New York trial. She stayed at the Deluxe Tillery Hotel and was flanked by round-the-clock security because her husband's lawyers said they were worried for her safety. After Guzman was put away, Colonel leaned further into her newfound stardom, garnering half a million strong following on social media. Yes, she became a well-known celebrity walking out of the trial room every day to support her husband. It would not be surprising if we said that Colonel played an active role in operating her husband's drug business while in prison. She was dealing with a supply of illegal drugs like cocaine, marijuana and such. But later she had to forcefully stop her business because she was caught by the police smuggling the drugs. The wife of Joaquin Guzman Loera, leader of a Mexican drug trafficking organization known as the Sinaloa Cartel, was arrested in Virginia on charges which were related to her alleged involvement in international drug trafficking. You will find that Emma Colonel Ispudo has a dual US-Mexican citizen of Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico, and she was arrested at the Dulles International Airport 
and she was scheduled to make her initial appearance in federal court in the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia through a video conference. Colonel Aispuro is changed in a one-count criminal complaint with a conspiracy to disseminate one kilogram or more of heroin, five kilograms or more of cocaine, along with 1,000 kilograms or more of marijuana and 500 grams or more of methamphetamines for unlawful importation into the U.S. The partner in crime with her husband, Colonel, got entangled with his drug business, and she is also now in prison. You must have understood that her life was certainly glamorous as she was frequently in the limelight, talking with news reporters, and became a constant face on social media. It may not be how she thought about a glamorous life, yet it happened. Not to forget that, to date, she is constructing an image of a perfect mother and wife for the world, but she doesn't realize that her true face has already been detected by the world when she helped her husband to escape from Supermax prison. Joaquin El Chapo Guzman's beauty queen wife was more than only an arm candy for the cartel head, because she also organized his bold 2015 underground escape from prison. El Chapo instructed his sons, Ovidio, who were then the cartel leaders, through Emma to purchase land near the prison from where they could assemble the tunnel. Of course, they'd need guns and an armored pickup truck too. Also necessary is a watch with GPS tracking for Guzman. That way, the crew could find him in prison and figure out the right spot to dig the hole that he would later crawl into. The perfect location became the floor of his jail cell shower, and Colonel played a key role in organizing his escape plan, and she became the messenger between her husband and his many sons. Not only this, the investigators also said she was instrumental in the escape plan after Guzman was caught by Mexican authorities back in 2016. This time, as the documents stated, Colonel paid a $2 million bribe to a prison official to have her husband moved to Altiplano, the very prison he had broken out of a year earlier. But this plan never came to fruition. Instead, Emma told one of her crew members that they would give him $100,000 to start up the same plan as the first one buying a piece of land near his prison. Guzman, however, had been transferred out of Altiplano to a different prison. Colonel told him they were operating on getting him switched back with the assistance of a chief of prisons in Mexico. The chief was assisting them because Guzman was paying him $2 million. But however, that escape did not pan out because El Chapo was later extradited to the US. By now, you must have understood that the life of Emma Colonel Aispuro reads like a soap opera script. Teenage beauty queen marries a drug kingpin, assists him to escape from prison, becomes prominent as she stands by his side when he's tried and sentenced, and then gets arrested herself. Do you think Emma is planning to free her husband again? Share your opinions in the comments. Subscribe to our channel for the latest El Chapo and his life-related videos. See you in the next one.